on the second Jesus, anniversary of somebody. January 6th, we want to bring into the conversation one of the men, one of the officers who bravely defended the Capitol that day, U.S. Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn. Officer Dunn will be among the 12 people President Biden will today award the Presidential Citizens Medal for exemplary contributions to our democracy surrounding January 6th. Officer Dunn, it's good to see you today. Uh, I'm just curious what your thoughts are this morning, two years on from that terrible day. Hey, good morning, Willie. Uh, thanks for having me on. Um, you know, the first thing I thought about, you know, ironically, with what's going on in the House right now, whatever anybody wants to call it, um, the irony of it is two years ago, that's what my coworkers and I defended those members for to have the right to do. Um, what, no matter what anybody's thoughts about, you know, which way it's going, um, the right that they, the, the fact that they have the right to be able to do that in a safe environment is kind of what we provided them two years ago. So it's just ironic what's going on now. It really is. It is. It's certainly ironic what's going on right now. And many of those people, by the way, who are standing in the well and won't support Kevin McCarthy and giving long lectures and speeches about restoring truth and getting rid of lies in the House are the same people who pushed the lies that drove those people to the United States Capitol. Um, Officer Dunn, who are you thinking about today? I know that this is a really hard day for you. Um, you have some terrible memories from that day, I know, where you guys were outnumbered at those barricades. Um, who are you? You be thinking about today? Uh, my co-workers, um, the men and women of the Metropolitan Police Department, um, we fought so hard and gave it everything we had that day. Um, some of our, my co-workers have still not returned to work. Some ha aren't able to work. Uh, some of the names that you know from this, uh, that, that horrible day, myself, uh, Sergeant Gunnell, uh, Carolyn Edwards, Mike Fanon, Danny Hodges, you know, four or five names, but there were hundreds of officers there who um, they, they, they fought so hard and everybody has a story from that day and it deserves to be heard and they deserve recognition. And um, it, 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 they, the, the, I think my heart is with those guys and those, guys, those men and women and um, it just mean the world to me. Officer, um, in another incredible split screen, uh, we'll be watching uh, the fight for the speakership happening today on Capitol Hill, and you will be, among others, uh, honored by the president. What does this award mean to you? You know, I, it's not usual, usual that I'm, I'm at a loss for words, but this was uh, completely humbling and just overwhelming gratitude. Um, I looked it up and, you know, had to, you know, look at the meaning behind the award. And, um, you know, what we did on January 6th, it was doing our job. We did what we were supposed to do. That's what, you know, we signed up. That's the oath that we take and we take it seriously. However, in the days after January 6th and everything that's happened, you know, me speaking out, me being an advocate and just pursuing accountability and justice, I've done in my personal capacity as just a concerned American citizen. Um, so just having those efforts recognized, it just means the world to me. And I also just, it shows that all of us Americans have a job to do in protecting this, this country, this democracy. Um, everybody has a role in it and uh, we all need to take it serious. Officer Dunn, uh, Al Sharpton, uh, let me ask you, when, when I met you and talked with you, Martin Luther King III and I at the Capitol, you seem like a very reflective person. Uh, and as you get this award today, 10, 20, 50 years from now, what do you want young Americans to have learned from what happened on January 6th to you and those at the Capitol? What, what is the lessons in history that you hope uh, we walk away from as time goes on in American history? Mr. Sharpton, good to talk to you again. Um, also, the the number one thing that immediately popped in my head is I want history to show that the individuals responsible for it were held accountable, um, which 730 days later, we're still waiting to happen. Um, and not just the foot soldiers, as they've been tabbed by many, uh, but the people who are responsible for inciting it. 
um, and frankly not doing anything to end it. Um, also that that night, as ugly as January 6th was uh, for America's watching, for us that were fighting in it, uh, later on that night, the, the democracy went on and Congress returned and certified the election. Um, so as ugly as it was, it still held. Um, that, yes, that's the main yeah. takeaway that I want people to remember from that day. Democracy held. U.S. Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn, thank you. Words cannot express how much we thank appreciate you. everything you're doing. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you.